Hello my vertical vertebrae, it's your boy Zionic Blader and today I will be unboxing Chaos Dragonoid Core and remember to uh, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to be opening up a pack of Bakion Battle Brawlers. But yeah, Chaos Dragonoid Core. This is also another Bakion that I bought so that I can get free shipping for the Darkest Nilius Core. And then first impressions, it has a green fist. So, oh my goodness, hopefully the second core it comes with is a lot better. Now, I don't think there are any good Chaos Dragonoids. I mean, he Chaos Dragonoid looks cool. It's, I mean, it's like, a you know, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, you know? Or I guess this in this case, it's the Teal Eyes White Dragon. And then we have Leo Viganegas with uh, Pegatrix as the Gate Trainer. I really don't care for the Gate Trainers. I'm more of a Gate Card kind of person. Uh, I'm glad they brought those in for the fusions, and I'm glad they're bringing them back for the Geogon, because, I mean, I don't know. Gate Trainer's kind of boring. I prefer the Gate Cards. But oh well. And let's see how bad this Bakion is. Okay, it has a Green Fist and a Helix Core with a stat line of 307. Now, this actually... This actually is not bad at all, actually. Um, obviously, you're not going to be using this for B power, but with 7 damage, uh, you could, if you land on the plus 3 green fist, you have 10. But, even better, if you land on the pl minus 200 B power plus 5 helix core, that's what? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage that you're going to be hitting for, which is uh, above uh, average and uh, around where I'd like to see for a damage wins play. So not bad at all. I mean, there's obviously uh, better options. You're gonna be mainly, you're mainly gonna be wanting to use a uh, Darkest or Pyrus when it comes to damage. But I mean, still, this is not a horrible Bakugan. There's much worse Bakugan out there. But let's take a look at the cores that we do get. And speaking of which, oh wait, never mind. I was incorrect. This is a minus 200, minus two, Helix cores, which is more of like a trap core, and then a plus. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Yeah, the core, the cores given with this Bakion are not good, but let's take a look at the Bakion itself. Chaos Dragonoid. Yeah, there we go. Now I always like the look of uh, Chaos Dragonoid. It's bl oh, this is literally blue. So this is a blue eyes white dragon, pretty much. Yeah. And I think uh, the teal and the white really, really goes well with uh, Dragonoid. And the blue teeth don't really see... The, the teal teeth don't seem off-putting. You know, and the horn is also teal as well. And that very sharp black uh, Chaos Faction symbol on the tail as well. But I think this shouldn't be hard to close, right? Put it down, maybe? I'm not sure. What the heck? Okay, I've done something wrong here. The, oh, wait. Okay, never mind. The, the horn is actually uh, a manual part. So yeah, I mean, ball form looks, uh, you know, it's a dragonoid. You know, they, they put a lot of effort into, at least I, I think they do. They would put a lot of effort into dragonoid because of uh, it being a main character. But let's see how this Bakion rolls open. All right, let's aim for the green fist. So, we got the, how far we go, there you go, <laughs> put the magnet down over here next to the core that I want and just kind of roll it backwards with our hands. Hopefully we get it in our first try. There we go, first try. Man, I'm getting better at this. That's how it opens up, really. <laughs> Pretty simple. I mean, it is a core Bakugan, you know, but before we leave, let's open up a pack of Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Let me extend this thing first, and then we can continue with our opening of a pack of Battle Brawlers. Now, let's see if we get anything good. I have a bunch of these, so I mean... There's a lot of chances for us to get something good. This is like what? This is like the fourth time 
for opening attack. Laser Claw, six damage. I mean, six energy for plus 16, or plus 10 damage. Eh, not really seeing anything worthwhile here. Oops. And then what was this? Power Ritual. Gain one energy for each back core you're back on. Hold. This might be, this might get better over time. Who knows? You know, it's still a bit situational. And then there we go, Might of Sindius. That's a good card to have. Two energy, you give your back gun one damage, and the turn that this card is played, the victor is decided by the highest damage rating instead of B power. This can really, really mess with your opponent. And cool thing, we got this when we got uh, Chaos Dragonoid, all about damage, right? So this is a good card, and there we go. Our super rare is a Titan Mantinoid Ultra, a 5 cost, is it? Yeah, a 5 cost card with the effect that when you discard a card, it gets 400 B power. So it is a 5 cost, that was really expensive, but back in the back, back in wave 1, uh, this was one of the better darkest Bakion, only because it came with, I think, a magic shield. So it was like one of the few darkest Bakion that came with a magic shield. Or it was the only darkest Bakion that came with a magic shield. So, yeah. So what was it, 800? So it, it's literally hitting stats for what we get nowadays in base form. But it does have 10 damage, so I mean, at least there's that. And our final card is Whirlpool. Peril graphic, 3 energy, plus 3 damage if you played another card this turn, plus 3 frost strike. Yeah, 3 damage and 3 frost strike. Eh, but hey, best card we got, Might of Sindius. Always good to get a Might of Sindius. That's what I'm talking about. But anyways, stay tuned for later today when I will be uploading a competitive review on Chaos Dragonoid Core. Uh, so if you liked the video, hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.